As a gamer, you've probably heard about RTX and all its ray tracing and realistic lighting and shadow goodness. But 90% of you probably RTX off because the frame rate tax is just too RTX expensive. NVIDIA's DLSS tech can let you legally evade this tax with its AI upscaling wizardry that will help your frame rates Vanguardian level you soar. Get it? While the older DLSS versions are good, this new DLSS 3.0 is gooder. And it might be the reason that you actually consider an upgrade. So what is DLSS 3.0? How does it work? Oh, your mother no teach? No man. I teach you la! Firstly, let's talk about DLSS which stands for Deep Learning Super Sampling, which is a technology developed by NVIDIA that uses AI to improve the performance and image quality of your games. Basically, instead of rendering every frame at full resolution like an honest worker, it churi tulang and renders them at a lower resolution and uses some kind of deep learning algorithm to upscale the image and present you with something that hopefully passes close inspection. Like Smart worker. Now I know why bosses like these kind of people more. Clever eh? What? Blame the player, not the game. Anyways, this ultimately allows you to turn on RTX for all that realistic lighting and shadow goodness, all the while still enjoying high refresh rates with higher resolutions than you normally would be able to game at. Now let's talk about some history of DLSS. DLSS 1.0 came out in 2019 and was done by using a supercomputer at NVIDIA to train a neural network huh, against specific game titles. It worked decent enough but wasn't widely accepted until DLSS 2.0 was released in 2020. Why? Because sequels are better. No, because for starters, a DLSS 2.0 ran better, looks nicer, just like your new girlfriend. It also didn't need to be trained against specific games, so more games would actually support it. Multiplayer is just easier. That brings us to the main topic of the day, DLSS, which comes with one very important new feature that makes it simply the best. Dun, dun. Better than all the rest. But what is it? Before that, I bet you have been wondering about this graphics card that has been sitting next to my face since the intro. Colorful iGame GeForce RTX 40 series GPUs provide a good balance between looks and performance and price, so you can enjoy a beyond fast gaming experience without gonna too much scolding from your wife. My personal favorite is of course that Bangsawan GeForce RTX 1490 Neptune OC V GPU. Oh, the name's so long. Because got AIO cooler with a beefy 360mm radiator that only a Bangsawan with a big case can use. Check them out. Links in the description. See? So colorful. Back to the topic, DLSS 3.0 and why is it superior? Well, we can all thank something that NVIDIA is calling the Optical Flow Accelerator or OFA. That kind of sounds like something that you would see in the USS Enterprise. Live long and prosper. Basically, OFA works by adding brand new frames in between the existing frames that your GPU is already rendering. It takes a look at two back-to-back in-game frames and calculates something called an optical flow field, which is generated by capturing the movement of every single pixel from frame 1 to frame 2. Information that OFA is paying attention to includes lighting, shadows, reflections, and such. On top of that, DLSS 3.0 also tracks the movement of geometry like the road whooshing past this motorbike for instance. Uh, without OFA, nobody's taking a look at the shadows so any new frames that are generated might look a little janky uh, with stuttering weirdness in the shadows. 
In summary, the OSS 3.0 number one gives you more FPS since it adds new frames in between existing ones. Number two, it looks better because it takes six hours to get ready in the morning. No, because it is OCD. And don't just look at the geometry movement, but also every single pixel for changes in lighting, shadows, and other effects. Number three, it allows your GPU to work only 12.5% as hard as it normally has to, to achieve the same quality and frames per second. Essentially, it makes your graphics cards more efficient. Uh, but honestly, just lazier lah. Lazy then say lazy lah, efficient. Like I said, DLSS 3.0 is only officially supported with GeForce RTX 40 series GPUs. But considering the 30 series GPUs that are still floating in the market, hopefully they will release some sort of update that will unlock it for older GPUs. Though it will probably not work as well because the newer cards are just more powerful. Anyways, that's everything I have to say about DLSS 3.0. If you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to give it a like and share and also subscribe to YouTube channel and hit that notification bell because it will support us make more content like this. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions regarding DLSS 3.0 and I will try my best to reply to you. Also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, TikTok and Instagram to see more shenanigans from the Mobhouse crew and for any short tips and tricks that I don't upload on YouTube. Again, my name is Bang Sawan Shane and I will see you when are we seeing them in the next one.